The house that we bought is located in Jensen Beach, Florida, about two-thirds of the way down the east coast between Fort Pierce and West Palm Beach. It's located on a barrier island just off of Jensen Beach. You can see the area where we're at in the blue. The community that we bought in consists of actually two communities, Venture 3 to the left and Holiday Out on the right. The area that we bought in is Venture 3 there on the left. Our house is in the blue area to the top of that little finger you see. The clubhouse in red. Recreational area in yellow. Uh, Libby's father's trailer that we stay in quite often is in the green at the bottom. Beach access for Venture 3 is in the red area on the right. I'm going to drive through the park along the blue trail that you see, then down the red, and back along the green to give you an idea of what the park looks like. Florida A1A South Ocean Drive runs the length of Hutchinson Island uh, from near Fort Pierce down to Stewart, distance of about 30 miles. The entrance to the park that we live in uh, is near the Jensen Beach end or the south end of the island. It is a gated community, so anybody with access has to either have a little garage door clicker to operate the gate or phone into the local office or answering uh, service to gain access. Uh, I'll be driving back through uh, a golf cart entrance to the right, which doesn't have a barrier. The area on the side that we're driving in, both left and right, is primarily the Holiday Out. It's a different association, different community, primarily smaller uh, parking areas for mobile homes, trailers, and some custom-built little homes. We're going to take a left here and jog around. You can see some of the homes in the Holiday Out, some campers, mobile homes. And you can see a few of the modular homes that are built. After we've come through the gate, we're going to go straight up. There's a stop sign here. The clubhouse, pool, and all the other activities activity buildings for Venture 3 are on the left. We'll come back to those in a little while. We'll pass the pool and clubhouse area on our left before we head down the street. The end of that building is the woodworking shop. Pool. There is a small library behind that blue umbrella you see in the middle, uh, just to the side of the woodworking shop are some boat ramps. Venture 3 consists of three separate communities within it. Venture Harbor, which you see to the left where we have purchased. Uh, is actually the only 55 and over uh, community within the park. The house with the green awning there is our new home. We're going to drive down the street and I can show you a little bit about how it's situated in this particular area. that you'll 
you'll see to the left as we go by with the two cars sitting out front is Vicky and Jim. That's Libby's sister. The houses are numbered from the left side, number one, and around to 16, uh, which is our number on the right. So there are a very limited number of homes on each of the two streets that comprise the Venture Harbor area. This street goes down to a roundabout, and you can just see the water at the end of the street, which is leading into the canals or the fingers. Uh, around which a lot of the park is built. There is the entrance to the Indian River and the other side of the Barrier Island. So we're not that far from one side of the island to the other. We're going to go back up and stop at the house for a few minutes. The house that we purchased is actually a double-wide manufactured home. It's about 20 years old, uh, so it has seen some wear and tear around the outside with the skirting, which we're going to have to work on, porch redecking, um, some plumbing. But all in all, it's in pretty good shape. You can see where it is located in that blue area next to the red dot. That's where we're going to stop. That's a little storage building. That's our golf cart. This is the master bedroom. The furniture came with the house. It's on the end there underneath the awning is the door you just saw in the master bedroom. This is the side entrance. It opens up into a small foyer area. The windows you see there are the kitchen windows. I'll see those in a second. Those are the ones to the right looking out. Again, it came fully equipped. That's the dining area. The dining room. There's a Florida room to the rear. The couch you see in the back. The passageway next to this storage workshop area. It opens up onto a patio behind the workshop. We do have a small grass area around the house. This is the back porch that leads into the Florida room area in the back of the house. The inside of the Florida room. Now looking through the windows next to the dining area, which you saw previously, this is the living room area. All the furniture came with the house. To the back of the house, there is a canal, one of the canals that comprise uh, about five in the park. So we do have about 10 or 15 feet of here at the very end of quote unquote waterfront. Again, that house you see next door is Jim and Vicky's. And the fella is getting rid of the boat. So we'll have a little bit better view later. Take a ride back up the street. We originally came from the right. We're going to turn left. And when we do, you're going to be able to see the Indian River. It's part of the Atlantic Intercoastal Waterway. And it comprises the other side of Hutchinson Island. So we've basically driven from the entrance across Hutchinson Island to the 
the Indian River. At this point, it's probably about a mile wide. We're actually looking north up along the Hutchinson Island coast at this point. And then I'll pan back around, and now we're looking across the river to the mainland. This piece of property on the end is actually owned by uh, the house just to the left. So it gives them a little bit of a park. And this is the second street that comprises the Venture Harbor. We're going to head back towards the entrance and then we're going to turn south. Uh, when we get to the clubhouse, coming back up to Snook Street on the right, you see the condos directly ahead. That's the A1A in front of those. Directly on the other side of those condos is the Atlantic. So you can see that the island itself is not that wide. Next to the wood shop, directly on the other side of it, is an exercise area. And then on the far end of this particular building is a six table pool hall. The building was actually built by, or the funds for the building uh, were actually provided by one individual. Uh, he just liked the area and decided that he wanted to spend some time here. Library. Most of those are donated books uh, from people in the park. It is a heated pool. parking area. But if you do have visitors, there's very limited parking in the park itself. Uh, so uh, quite often they'll park in the overflow parking area. This is the road. To the left is the Holiday Out section. To the right is the Venture 3 area. And that happens to be the Venture 3 office clubhouse area pool. And we'll drive down here and I'll stop and give you a little view of the shuffleboard area. Show you that again in a second. These are bocce ball courts. So we'll stop here in a second and I'll get out to give you a little bit better view. In addition to the bocce ball shuffleboard, uh, there is a beach volleyball court here and a basketball court. So this little park area for the community. You can see the marina. Uh, they do rent slips if you have a boat. Uh, and can't have it in front of your house. Uh, you can rent a slip here in the marina. 
and if you look there beyond the boat with the blue canvas you'll see the entrance to the Indian River again. Those homes that are there on that side of the marina, far side of the marina, are the ones that are directly across the street from our house. Uh, you may notice as we swing back around in a second a little flag, American flagpole. Uh, the house that we have is directly behind it. There it is, just to the right of the basketball goal. We'll go back down, take a drive to the south end of the park. We'll see a, quite a diversity of different types of structures in here. That one you're looking at right there is a manufactured home. This was a, probably a trailer. Now they've stuck out over the outside to kind of give it some rigidity. And then next to it, you'll notice one of the original trailers that uh, was predominant in the park probably 25 or 30 years ago. And now one of the newer structures two-story and you can build now up to 22 feet to the top of the roof line. I'm going to go down to the end of this street here and when we get down to the end uh, Libby's father's trailer that we stayed in quite often and are in right now will be on your left. Here's her dad's trailer. The one side of it is entirely the Florida rooms. That's why you see all the screening. Um, basically, you'll see the trailer a little bit better when we come around on the return trip. He has one of the nicer lots in the park because it is on the corner. We're going to turn right and go down. There are three fingers that protrude off to the right with the canal between each of them. We're going to go down to the middle one and uh, I'll be able to show you from this side where the house is that we just purchased on the other side at the end of the canal where I showed you the boat behind the house. Again, you can see where they can put up some rather nice homes now that are permanent as opposed to the uh, trailers or double wide modular type homes. And quite a few people still just have the vacant uh, parking pad that they can bring in a fifth wheel or a Class A motor home. We are going to stop here at this vacant lot on the right. I'm going to walk out to the end of it at the edge of the canal. And this is looking back across the marine to where the marina is where you saw the tennis court, or excuse me, the basketball court, uh, bocce ball, shuffleboard. And I'll pan around to the left. Palm tree is the one that was in the middle of the turnaround at the end of our street. The canal to the left is the canal that runs up to our house. house. There's the boat uh, that is directly behind our house. Our house is to the far end of that canal and to the right. And to the left 
is the entrance to the Indian River. And I'll pan back around. And you can see one of the other short canals uh, that comprise these three different fingers down this side of Venture 3. We're going to head back towards his dad's trailer. That's it again on the left. left here at the end of the street and go back to the clubhouse. back up to the clubhouse and pool area. The park is really not that big. You can easily walk it, take a bicycle, or use the golf cart. I'm going to pull in here and park our little golf buggy. Hey, here we find Vicky and Libby sunning themselves by the pool. They're totally engrossed in their reading. Finally figured out we were here. This area is the passageway from where I was just standing around to uh, the building that houses the pool hall on this end, exercise area in the middle, and wood shop on the far end. You can see here the pool players area. Every Saturday morning play rotation uh, and then on Monday evening there's eight ball. There's usually about 40, maybe 50 people. Uh, they have a little computer program. You scan in a little card. It randomly pairs up uh, partners and teams for each of the tables and then keeps track of winners and losers. So it's a double elimination. Very nice. This is going to the passageway again, back down beside the pool hall. And if you look very carefully straight ahead between the two houses, you'll see the green awning of the house we just bought. It's the next street over. ramp area into the marina. There is a storage area to the rear of the park. So if you do have a boat but you don't have access to the water from your home, you can store your boat there and then bring it here to the ramp. And that concludes the tour of the park. Ah, there are the ladies coming out of the shower room. We have gone out on a boat ride with a friend of Jim's. And now we're coming back into the Venture 3 Marina. The area to the left 
is where our home will be. We're coming off of the Indian River. The marina that we photographed earlier is straight ahead. And the canals actually are on either side. The house that you see there with the boat is at the end of B Street, which is the second street in the Venture Harbor area. The canal is on the right here. We drove up previously to the one there on the opposite side of that turquoise house. We're turning now into the canal where our house is located. That car and that tall palm tree are at the end of the street where we live. And if you look down at the far end of this canal, see that boat that is the one sitting directly behind our house and that is the sea tour